Welcome to Tango Tips with Mika. Today, I want to show you another one of my favorite exercises. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. This exercise is excellent to work on your supporting leg, to create a strong basis and to release your free leg. So this will help you not only in the walk, but also for the boleos, the ganchos and so much more. For today's exercise, you just need a staircase. <laughs> if you're feeling unstable with your heels on, you can start barefoot. But I will do the exercise directly with my heels on. Okay? <laughs> Let's get started. I will step on the staircase. With my right foot in this case, this will be my supporting leg. Now, my free foot just relaxes, okay? No tensions at all. And we will first focus on the supporting leg. Now, first of all, close your ribs and hide your belly, okay? Close your ribs, hide your belly. If not, you're not stable at all, right? Now, push your supporting leg foot into the ground and imagine a corkscrew, yes? Because what might happen is this instability, yes? If I squeeze my foot into the ground in the form of a corkscrew, I will stop the trembling, okay? Squeeze it into the ground. The heel has to push into the ground and relax the knee, okay? Now that we've created a stable and strong supporting leg, let's focus on the free foot. Relax the whole leg from the hip onwards, okay? No tension at all. Shake the tensions away. Don't use any muscle force. The muscle force is in our center and in our supporting leg, not in the free leg, okay? Close your ribs. Don't forget to hide your belly. Yes, feel that you're really free because your supporting leg is so strong that you don't need any tensions. Now, when you feel relaxed and safe, you can start moving the free, free foot, but just relax, okay? Don't move it with your muscles. Don't do this. It has to be relaxed, free of all tensions, and I move. Okay? And you will feel the muscles of your supporting leg working as hell. <laughs> Which are the details to bear in mind? First of all, remember the corkscrew, right? We will squeeze our heel into the ground and create a strong column from our head to the heel. Second, put your solar plexus over the adductor of the supporting leg. If you turn it towards your free foot, you will fall, okay? So, here we go, over my free foot, uh, over my supporting leg, sorry. <laughs> Three, of course, close your ribs, hide your belly. All the tensions are in your center and in your supporting leg. The rest of your body is free to express. Your shoulders, your hands, your neck and your free leg. Now four, to move your free leg with liberation, okay? Without any tensions, think of moving just your foot. 
this will avoid you using the strong muscles of your leg, okay? And won't create any tensions at all, because when we use tensions, it throws at us out of the axis, okay? I hope you've enjoyed this tango tip. If you want to receive the next one as soon as it gets out, subscribe to our website and you will also receive a free trial class. <laughs> and of course, you can find us on our social media channels. And I would also like to invite you to my Facebook group, Ladies Technique with Mika. See you next time!